Hi, let's talk about the rubrics. Okay, I've been looking through um, the rubrics for 1100, and I really am impressed with everything that everyone's done, but I know that one of the comments about the rubrics is that it's very difficult to do them for each person in a group, and so for that video presentation, I thought thought a lot about how to simplify the situation and make it easier for, for everyone to consistently evaluate groups, have a nice feedback form that looks right, be able to use the software so it's not too confusing. Um, and this is what I've come up with and it is essentially something that I worked on for my own classes. So this is what my classes, one of my classes feedback forms looks like. It's an Excel form and I didn't do it in Access because I have Excel on more like on my laptop and whatnot and messing around with Access uh, database forms just gets, it gets complicated and messy. We all have Excel. We can all mess with Excel. So here's here's where I have a, a form for one of my classes and as you can tell I have a uh, V lookup here. So I have a record number, and as I change the record, I can have, I have a different student information that feeds into this form. And so I can pretty quickly show why people have the grade they did. Now, I'm not showing you the actual grades at the bottom because <laughs> I don't want to reveal that. But as you can tell, one of the things I focused on is our students always want to know why they didn't get a hundred percent because they did all the work well you know sometimes you get a hundred percent sometimes you are not the best in the class even if you were very good or excellent so I'm trying to emphasize that to them and that's a battle I just don't want to fight um, so here is kind of the version I came up with for the video presentation okay so this could pull, the nice thing is people could download from eLearning and we can set everything up so that it will feed pretty directly into this form with very little messing around with it. So you could download something from Excel and I could, I could have a video showing how to do that and then you could very easily have your time section and just go down the group so you could download the group information and put the group time and that can feed in from that form and we can uh, you can type in presentation topic if you wish on the Excel file so uh, on the Excel spreadsheet so if, if you need to feed that in um, names of presenters could load automatically and then here you have the criteria, and that seemed to be one of the issues. Do you want to knock off, or do you want to have the criteria presented and then say, this was very good, and have a note at the bottom that says, you know, uh, you didn't, uh, you know, this was very good, but, but the group um, didn't look like a team. Um, the, uh, the, when you submitted your files, you did almost everything right, but the document that you had didn't include the instructor's name. So maybe that's good or very good. Um, the nice thing here is once again, best, you know, you have that discretion. If There are five categories, professionalism, presentation, content, um, exciting, interesting, and writing style. And for this, even if they don't have much written, if it's just people talking to the screen, for one thing, they probably are going to film it in different places in campus. They might, you know, um, so that could add to visual aid, uh, you know, as far as their, their presentation, um, visual elements, so, that, uh, so that, that adds to that. But let's say they only have two words on the screen. Um, college major, only they misspell college and it's collage. Well, <laughs> that is not just, that, you know, that might be slightly flawed. <laughs> <laughs> you might decide, okay, that's that's a failure. <laughs> you misspell college and it's the only written thing. M maybe this is a big disaster. Um, so, you know, maybe that's slightly flawed. Maybe it's a disaster. You get to make the call. 
And then you can put down here in notes, the only real written elements are misspelled. How can you do this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, did no one look over this before you submitted it? So, so that's, that's, where, that's where you can put that. The five, because there are five uh, categories, writing style, exciting, interesting content, presentation, and professionalism, it adds up to 100% pretty easily, but at the same time, you aren't forced to give them 100%. The percentage is very obvious, and then you can, um, if you choose that it's, you know, you choose to make it 150 points, um, then maybe this should say final points. Uh, so, um, so that would make more sense, I guess. So I can change that, but I can give you this, and I can have a video that shows how to feed into it. If that's something that you're looking for, this might not be the type of rubric that you want, but I like it because it's fast. Um, and I have a nice spreadsheet that includes all my data, but I also have a really professional form that I can print, and then I can reprint if I need to. It's right here. I just print a PDF, hooray, and, um, and I've printed for that group. Um, some people love mail merges. Mail merges are wonderful, but this is nice because it's all within the same document. I don't have to have Excel and uh, Word hooked up together. So I hope this was helpful. I know I promised big things, and I don't know if this meets your expectations, but it, it addresses some of the issues that I see that happen at the end of the semester for, uh, for all of us. Thanks, and have a good day.